Hello everybody, welcome to this week's video where I'll be doing the last unbox of this year, I guess. Even though it's been two months since this is like an actual disclaimer, this is a two year two month old footage so I didn't risk uh, any spiders getting hurt by cold or anything. Because right now it's very snowy where I live. Uh, but that doesn't matter again. This is like five or six spiders, mostly females, that I bought uh, because I wanted to and I kinda needed them for the collection which is like what everyone who collects spiders says that they need that one in collection but we do, the spider collectors, the tarantula collectors, we do collect uh, a large amount of species in this ones in this video are the ones that I wanted for a while and uh, gladly and actually not gladly what am I talking about uh, thankfully my friend had them so I bought it of him I bought many spies of him but uh, again it doesn't matter anyway this is if you could read the text I don't want to add the text uh, that I added before in the videos into this one because I don't know if I just uh, talk about it I think you will know what species this is this is a Gramostola Hiringi I wanted this spider for such a long time and my friend had it and we talked about it but there was not a time to purchase it before but this one I like it was not an impulse buy I wanted it for a while uh, as you know um, uh, I have a Gramostola Porteri slash Rosea which is uh, not Razea, which is Porteri now I have a Gramostola Pulchipres and I have this one which is actually really nice I'm not gonna talk about the obvious way you can bait me into talking about Gramostola Pulchra being the most controversial, controversial species for me but we shall leave it at that uh, it's a beautiful girl and if you saw the name back there uh, it's called Blackita because uh, my niece was there when I unboxed the spiders and she called it, it means Blacky, but it, it, it's in, in Slovenian, so just for the reference you know what Blackita means, it means Blacky. Moving on to the next spider which is Lephobopus murinus. If you remember I unboxed this species a really not long time ago, like four months in on the channel four months ago in real life pretty long time but uh, I have to break the sad news to you uh, she died like a month into living with me I don't know what happened basically I fed her two times and she was fine and the next time I was trying to water her she was dead on top of the on top of the box she's in bra plus like this one is see this one is like less colorful because it's still younger but I don't know what happened I'm actually really upset about it but moving on to another sp spider or another species that I had before but died another video I had on this channel which was uh, impaction sucks I think that's what it calls it's called see the knees in the background checking the spider this is a Poecilotheria refilata again right now I have all the Poecilotheria genus spiders that are, that are available uh, that you can buy actually I think there's like 13 now I have I mean it's my favorite genus so I talked about it a lot of times uh, no reason to bring it up again why it's my favorite genus I mean I will do a genus review when like my baby Hanuma Vilasumikas are bigger but uh, this will come in the future the white dots you see are vermiculite they're not mold I saw like posting, I posted a picture of Hamori yesterday on Facebook groups and like a lot of people were upset because they thought it's mold, it's not, it's vermiculite. Uh, and the green rocks, if you see any of them, are not mold as well, they're just green colored rocks, they're like decoration for a hobby stuff and I get it from like shops in here, shops uh, like readily have them available, so it's not mold. Uh, moving on, yeah, look, look how beautiful she is, even though she's really 
small compared to the other one I will link it up in the top right corner again if you never saw what happened to my Rufilata it's really upsetting to me still and it's also upsetting to me the Enfobopus morinus I don't know why I stopped talking about it because it was my favorite species and everything uh, but that will be a time for another uh, video that I'm planning this year moving on to a species you probably know from this channel if you watch any of the videos uh, it's kind of weird to talk about it because this is my spider but I got it as a freebie again it's really weird to talk about it uh, this is uh, Kilobrachis Vietnam Blue I had two left out of everything I have like every every spider I have two left because I sold the rest of them and a lot of them died again I talked about it in like my uh, exact videos that a lot of them died I sold 50 of them to England I sold uh, a lot of them other, other way and I sold 24 I swapped 24 Orphanicus uh, no uh, Orphanicus Infobopus Cianognatus which I unboxed a while ago again uh, yeah I did unbox it yeah so that's the speed I traded 20 of them for one female but that doesn't matter but I got it again as a freebie I asked I, I asked for it because when I go to the dark then actually maybe next year who knows when uh, the world is in shambles right now but when I go to the dark then I want to give uh, a Vietnamese blue to Petco because it's my first exac and it's very special to me anyway what I'm unboxing here is Orphanicus species blue panay the first Orphanicus in my uh, collection I'm trying to get Orphanicus species uh, Filipinus uh, Orphanicus Filipinus which is the most known Orphanicus species uh, in the genus like it's the most known for but uh, there weren't that many available this year and uh, I didn't want to just reach into it because this is a female already sexed and everything but uh, as you saw and the, the start of the video I just dropped it because this is an old world this is not a safe way to do it I did wrongly but it came out of the top and I got scared it didn't drop on her it dropped on the side and she was on the left of it so uh, she is perfectly fine as you will I'll try to uh, get my questions but anyway this is how I set it up in her enclosure she's a heavy webber and in this upcoming uh, December month when I'll be getting no new spiders I will be showing you update on the webbings they made and showing you just the update on my spider collection in general but this is Orphanicus blue panay uh, it's not doesn't have the blue coloration yet because it's not fully grown even like Lividus, I had that species, but sadly I don't have it anymore. Uh, they don't show their blue colorations until they are mature. So it's like completely acceptable. Even like a little bit bluish on the legs and everything. It's really nice. Uh, we'll be looking to in getting more Erfonicus next year. But lastly, let's move on to the final species I got. I think it's pretty much adult but let's let's look at it yeah this, there it is Serio Cosmos Perez Milesi as you watch my channel you know that I have Serio Cosmos Elegance but they're really small I mean they're big compared to what they were like a year and a half ago because they grow super slow and everything but this is the species that uh, also was looking uh, looking to get sorry for that uh, and it's gorgeous basically it doesn't have the triangle on the head black triangle like uh, elegance has but it's basically otherwise the same it's really bulky and fast for a new world this is bolivian i think it's bolivian something beauty uh, anyway i got scared again because it's really fast for a new world uh, she went into the tunnel i will again in this upcoming winter months uh, will be updating you on the spiders and everything uh, like how they're doing with the webbings and everything but this is gonna be it for this week's video 
uh, guys thank you for watching this video if you like it leave a like down below subscribe for more videos and I will see you back again next week for another one bye bye